There are only two animals on the planet that the Creator identified himself with. And when I read the Bible, I was shocked to find that there are two animals that the Creator identified himself with. The first one is the eagle. The eagle. And the second animal is the lion. The lion has what I call the spirit of leadership. And this word spirit here is referring to attitude. A leader has a attitude that makes him or her different from followers. And the lion exhibits that attitude. We have to cultivate the same attitudes that the lion has because the lion apparently has been given the same attitudes that God himself identifies with and he put it in these creatures. We have somewhere trapped on the inside these same potential attitudes. Number one, the lion is not the tallest animal in the jungle. Number two, the lion is not the largest animal in the jungle. Number three, the lion is not the heaviest animal in the jungle. Number four, the lion is not the smartest animal or the most intelligent animal in the jungle. And yet, the lion is the king. The lion, therefore, cancels all of your excuses for not becoming a leader. You don't need to be intelligent. You don't need to be smart. You don't need to have a certain height. You don't need to have a certain weight. You don't need to have any kind of advantage. And yet you can be the leader. Now, what's the main thing that shocks me with the lion is that the lion is not larger than the giraffe, bigger than the elephant, or heavier than the hippo. The lion is an amazing creature. He's not as smart as the hyena or the snake. And yet, when he shows up, they all run. What makes the lion so unique? The lion is the king of the jungle because of one word, attitude. It doesn't matter how big you are, how intelligent you are, how many degrees you get. It's your mind that keeps you small. The difference between a leader and a follower is simply attitude. Why? Because it is the unique attitudes of a leader that distinguishes them from followers. The way they think, the way they see, the way they perceive, the way they interpret activity is completely different. But all true leaders think completely differently from a follower. They don't study problems, they look for answers. Write this down. Attitude is a product of belief. What makes you transform from a follower to a leader is something happens inside of you that makes your belief system change. When your belief system changes, your entire life transforms. Because now your references change. Life is what you think it should be. Whatever you believe about yourself, that's what you will be and will always be. So if you want to change yourself, you got to change the way you think about yourself. See, the, what makes you a leader is when you stop being an employee just paying bills and keeping the mortgage going and you become someone who realized I was supposed to make a contribution to the world before I die. There's a big difference between the two ways of thinking. So a leader doesn't just live for retirement. They don't live to make a living, they live to make a difference. And that's why a leader is born when a person has an encounter with a destiny quotient. And I'm come here to tell you, each one of you was born to do that. A leader develops this or discovers this, this awareness that they were supposed to play a role in humanity and I come to tell you today every one of you were born to do that but 90% of you will take it to the cemetery you are important to the world young man you are not here just to get an education and get a nice job and buy a nice house and pay the mortgage and die what a lousy life
As a matter of fact, some of you have studied the wrong degree. You have not prepared yourself for your purpose because you pursued a degree that would give you money instead of fulfillment. And that's why it's important for you to discover your purpose. Because if you don't understand your purpose, see, purpose produces vision and vision produces the positive hope. So if you want to become a leader, you got to first discover your sense of purpose, your intent for being alive. What was I put here for?